Hello. Let me show you what we're doing in our house today. I have been absent for a couple days. We've just been busy and I have not picked up the camera, but it's time. I told the kids it's time to pick up the camera. Boom. What are we making? Swords, daggers, Swords, and daggers, gods. All out of paper. You can see this. Who made paper. this one for you? Silas. That's so nice. Brother. And then you put it on your, on your waist in a sheet. My thingy. Very cool. Where's my thing? We got long in a case. My little case is shorter. That long? We were given a high chair for Benjamin. That's pretty cool. Mom, get Benny in here. Every time he's awake, James wants to put him in it because he's excited. And it collapses just like our last one. Holds up so we can stick it in the corner. Oh, what do you think? Is fun having somewhere new to sit? You have to talk to Mom. Give me a bowl too. Is he fine? I'll throw off the duct tape up here. I'm making. Yeah. This is mine. Making a sheet for mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty I made for lunch. I've got some sheets cooking right now. So we have been a little bit under the weather. This guy here had a fever. Just so random. A full day that he was weak, didn't eat, Wait, what? had a fever. This is yours. This is the tip time. Yesterday. And now he's. Wait, what do we do? Like this time? So when we get sick, um, I try to heal with food, first of all, if I can. So. I learned about, I'm always learning something new, but I learned about the healing power of whey, like real whey. Um, we have <laughs> we have so much milk right now that I've set a gallon out to turn into curds and whey, just like Little Miss Muffet. And so you just put it in your cabinet. You just take it, instead of putting it in the refrigerator, or you take it out of the refrigerator and just set the gallon of milk in your cabinet. Put a cloth over it, and it will culture. And yeah, yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, but you know, traditionally, this is the way we ate. This is the way we stay healthy. So you just let it sit for three or four days, and it will separate into curds and whey. And then you can strain the curds, and they're kind of like cottage cheese-ish sort of consistency, and like a yogurty taste. So we just eat those, and then the whey you can drink, and it will last in the refrigerator for, what did it say, up to a year or six months, or something crazy, six months maybe, which of course it wouldn't last that long in our house, but it has amazing healing properties. They used to call it in the olden days, they called it healing waters because it was so incredible. What? Look at this thing. Nice. So, um, yeah, I've been giving... I've been including that in our smoothies because it just gives an extra healing boost. And I gave him some colloidal silver, some oils. I like using the Warrior Essential Oil Blend from Hopewell. Put that on the bottom of his feet. And then some vitamin C, vitamin D. And he's, ta-da, he's all better. So it's pretty awesome. I think it's good to get um, mildly sick once a year or so because, you know, it builds up your immune system. Ooh, that's boiling. So the other thing that I give for health is a very good quality bone broth. So I had made some really rich bone broth and I froze it in these little bread dishes so that I could just pop out, pop it out and put it in Ziploc bags and then I instantly have bone broth if I need it.
there is a storm in the air. It feels very windy out here. We've got lots of company for chicken feeding. I'll show you how I Are you hungry, chicken. chickens? We are, we're back. Elsie and I went to the neighbors. And, and they taught us, whoopsie, get a Not towel. Spill. We've had a lot of spills. They taught us how to, um, Can I run and get a towel? Here, I've got one right here. Yeah. Um, there you go. Okay. Yeah. They taught us how they make their garland, which was really cool. I probably should have brought the camera along, but they use a very thick rope and they stretch the rope between two uh, clamps to just kind of generally hold it out. And then they lay. Yeah, you have milk on your hair. Did you spill it on your head? I don't know. No, the ribbons. <laughs> they put clumps of branches of evergreen, and they sent some home with us. Magnolia leaves, ivy, holly things. They put that all along there, and they wrap it with floral wire. And because it's on that rope, it'll just curve and move and drape. Really cool. Yep, they made us that. Did I tell you that? Yeah, I did. So I'm glad we went. We caught the tail end when they were just finishing up and getting ready to hang it. And they sent us some evergreen to get us started. So we'd still need to find a few other things to add to it, but we've got a bunch to get started. So I think tomorrow we'll see how the weather is because I'd like to do it outside. It would be really messy in the house. They were doing it out outside. All right, show us, James. Yeah. That's cool. They made you a really yeah, neat I made one. This. Nice. I made this so come over here and show me. So if the weather is good tomorrow, because they're calling for rain, look at that. Um, we'll we'll put together. Whenever it's not raining, we'll put together some evergreen garland. That's good. Yeah, that'll be fun. So we're eating leftover soup for dinner. That's what we're doing. <laughs> What's wrong, Lydia? No leftover. What's wrong? What's the matter? Are you getting tired? Yeah. Are you getting tired? Yeah. I think it's almost time for night night. Yeah. So we will see you guys soon. Um. Yep. It's been so busy around here. I'm having to remind myself to pick up the camera. So sorry that I'm missing you guys once in a while. But yeah, really neat. It's just a busy season, right? Oh, you saying hi? There you go. Can you say bye, friends? Can you say bye, bye? Bye, friends. Bye, friends. You've got soup all over your face. Bye, bye.